nether and then pop up again um, and see what what's changed uh, and again as I get closer to spawn I will see more and more uh, and this will be less of a concern but I will post some signage here uh, here we go August 7th 2015 Friday. One out of five beers. <laughs> I'm almost done to the bottom of the first mics. For those among you who may say to yourself, five beers. That is not a lot of drinking. That is hardly fucked up. You, you are correct. I still have two kids uh, in the house, so I have to get up early. Uh, because it doesn't matter that it's a weekend or that they're going to bed, you know, late or early or whatever. They're still going to be up by 7. Second one's a Mike's Hard Black Cherry Lemonade. We got like a Mike's Variety Pack. Uh, and it's a little warm, so uh, I've left all the rest of them in the fridge for now. I think I'll start pulling them out one at a time. Uh, which means I'll have to take a little break in between. Uh... <clears throat> Hi there. Uh, this is not where I built my portal, no surprise, because the nether is never fucking correct. There's another one? That's just splendid. Probably built itself. Highway. Looks like everybody nerd pulls back up to it. That's probably the smart move, so I think that's what I will do as well. Uh, try to get back up to the nice, even highway that we all love and know. Yeah, um, I'm not totally paying attention to chat, but that would probably be the right answer to that question. <laughs> oh, Christ. So, uh, anybody pop in and out? Somebody must have, because it changed the format this is being displayed in, but I don't, again, see anybody that I recognize right now. Some of them get on a little later, and it's also, you know, Friday, so people with actual lives <laughs> might be doing other stuff. Yeah, I gotta go up. Um, no, no other direction needed. I'll just go straight up. Nerd pull straight through it. Whoop! Wait a minute. How about, the, how about this? No? Nothing? I'll, I'll use the... Whoa. <gasps> stairs. Are these my stairs? Did I do this? No. Don't think so. Somebody did. Maybe it was me. Who knows? <clears throat> Getting closer. What's this? No, go in the wrong direction. Here we go. Okay. So, uh, I went ahead in uh, negative X, which is this way, and I'm going to walk in that direction until I see something interesting. And uh, that'll be... That'll be the end of that. <laughs> So once I get back to zero zero, <clears throat> and I screw around there for a little bit, get some uh, some video of what it looks like today. I mean, it's been I want to say three years since I've been to zero zero, so uh, it's it's changed a lot, I'm sure. And by that I mean it's probably exactly the same uh, in theory. <laughs> uh, but what I will do then is I'll probably pick a different direction. Um, I'll get some intel from people where I should go, what's the coolest structure that's active and destroyed and in any way interesting, and I'll head in that direction. Who knows? I've got everything of value, well, I've got half of everything of value in my pack right now, so all this stuff is kind of important to me, um, and people say, and they are completely correct, that I I travel like some kind of hobo. <laughs> I, I've got terrible inventory management. Uh, I agree with that. It's just a, a schlop of random garbage, and I often seem to forget the important stuff and leave it behind. I've done that with wood. I've done that with my ender chest. But on the other hand, uh, I have everything I could possibly need 
which means if I get killed, I will lose everything I possibly needed <laughs> and have almost nothing left. Um, but that's okay. I don't mind. Uh, I, I'm i not in this game for the same reasons that other people are in this game. I'm in this game to explore, uh, to see what's already been created. I'm not in it for power. I'm not in it for building something amazing and having other people see it. Uh, although I liked my hiatus base. I thought it was cool. Uh, it was a small build, you know, one person barely playing the game for a while. But I'm not here to hack. I'm not here to spawn in items by cheating, by duping. Uh, so I can't really build these massive citadels of emerald that I've seen um, in pictures on the, the 2B2T blog. <clears throat> or from Sato. I'm going to say Sato, but it might be Sato. You know, whatever, correct me, please. Uh, I'm sure you, you'll you get the message. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh. So, you know, if I lose everything, it doesn't really impact me that much. I can still grab some food, get away from spawn, head in a random direction. Uh, originally, I was looking for two cows so I could, you know, put up an enchanting table, enchant my items. Um... While that was important at the time, uh, it seems less important now because I found that I don't get to interact with people very much when I'm this far away from spawn, uh, and interacting with people is actually kind of cool, so avoiding them doesn't make a lot of sense either. And a lot of people are really nice to me on the server, which is ironic given that it is in fact 2B2T, only the, the straight up thugs uh, have been anything but courteous uh, and, and nice and I feel like if I bumped into somebody who wasn't just a, a murderer for murdering sake I would probably be left alone uh, they might you know give me stuff or show me around which is awesome like thanks guys that's really cool all right fucked up Friday update my nose is kind of tingly so we're getting there <laughs> really slowly Becoming inebriated. Uh, I've considered switching from this stream to something else. Doing a, another game later tonight. Uh, on one hand, that would give me an opportunity to play something a little different. Maybe do some Heroes of the Storm or uh, Unturned. Unturned would be a lot of fun. Uh, I could get, you know... Jaden to join me. It's a free-to-play game in which you are doing zombie survival, and it's super graphic, minor, not intensive. <laughs> uh, but for some weird reason, the game hits all the right notes as far as gameplay goes. It's, it's really odd, because you look at it and you're like, this game looks like shit. It was put together by a 13-year-old, which I actually think it may have been put together by like a 15-year-old, but still. But you play it, and it's enjoyable. The, the gameplay seems fun and solid for a, a low budget title so you know unturned maybe i'll record some of that in the future unturned is really only fun though if you've got somebody you're playing with uh you can't do that one alone and i kind of feel the same thing about like minecraft 2b2t uh it would be much more exciting if i had somebody with me but my record schedule as terrible as it is doesn't really allow for that, which is kind of why I tried to let people know that I'm going to be on tonight. You know, I'm, uh, I'm doing the stream tonight. Um, but, you know, nobody really got the message. <laughs> people saw it and they were glad that I'm back to YouTube, but um, I didn't really confirm or deny rumors that I would be doing a live stream, so. Seems like maybe this wood marker is marking something out here. But where am I at here? Let's see. Uh, 10.8. That puts me somewhere in the 80,000 range. If I'm... Yeah, 80,000... Plus it's some more. Maybe in the 90,000 range. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so I've got a long ways to go if I want to find anything cool. I could try branching off, but... I mean, at this, at this area... It seems unlikely that I'd find any... See, these little holes on the side are specifically drilled there. I don't know exactly why, but... Eh, 
somebody did it on purpose. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, my chance of finding a base this far away from spawn is a little bit lower. Uh, the base would probably be cooler, no, no doubt, but uh, I'd try to, I, I would like to hit something more likely, you know, a uh, more positive uh, likelihood of getting to an actual base. It's a long road. <laughs> Man. It is the, probably the one downside, other than the lag. The lag is definitely an issue. It's probably the one downside about a server that is so liberty-oriented. <laughs> what a terrible political correct phrase. Fuck that. It is so anarchaic. Uh, about the server is that everyone feels the need to get as far away from everyone else as possible and so you wind up with this massive world with nothing in it because no matter how many people have come to visit 2B2T and left their mark they only do it in a very small section of the explored area one person will go and find their own little section build a castle nobody else ever fucking finds it <coughs> unless you get super lucky and you know it's for what you don't you don't get to share your amazing shit uh, but on the other hand it provides for some very interesting um, social commentary slash uh, you know gameplay you, you, this is I do not know if there's another server quite like this one quite like 2b2t and that is one of the reasons I love it so much but mostly I love it because you guys love it and you've responded to it uh, in the positive. Torches! Somebody actually liked this room enough to put some torches down. Oh, and I can hear a gas nearby. But they put torches but no, you know, gate. Okay, I gotta check this out. This is significant work here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go all the way down take a peek. I can always head back up gotta explore the chance that there's something worthwhile hello a chest an empty chest <laughs> 2 b 2 t subtitle an empty chest this guy doesn't even seem to know that I'm here dead bitch all right let's peek empty chest over lava and uh, nothing around here to indicate that it's anything more. And a ghast. That's too bad. Uh, I was really hoping that I would find a portal here and go to somewhere cool in the overworld. But it looks like somebody decided to set up a nether base. You would think there was a portal nearby, and there may have been at one point. But an empty chest is just as damning evidence that somebody found this place and decided to wreck it. Yikes. Alright, well, head back up. Ah, fuck, I went the wrong way, didn't I? Here we go. <sighs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well... I believe I'm heading this direction. Yes. Oh, wait a minute. We've reached a conspicuous number here, so maybe it is important for me to head to the overworld. This is 80k. Um, <clears throat> the portal, if there was one, eh, sign, was destroyed. Shelters are for, well, that. LOL. Stealth nachos. Well, I guess we know who destroyed it. It's like fucking spray paint tagging everywhere. <laughs> That's what 2B2T is. It's a bunch of a-holes with spray paint. Dr. Zabi, 2015. <laughs> let's do it! Let's let's go, man. We're going back to the overworld. 80k. We will find something if there is something to be found. 